hi everybody welcome back to the craft room so today I wanted to show you what I've been making and also what I've received this is very awkward to show you but this is the totally Tiffany um, sort of storage thing and what I did was I bought the Knitwit Positivity Collection from Crafters Companion and I am going to keep it all together in this holder. There are three, I don't know if you can see there, three 12 by 12s, two are card, one plain colour, the other patterned, and then also a cut out die cut book. There are lots of things. There are stamps, that's a cut and emboss folder, which I have used. Um, these are stamps and dies. Then you've got these cut out decoupage books, one for cats, one for dogs, and there are loads in it, 48 sheets that you could have. Just put some envelopes there and then some glue and things. So this is what I am keeping this collection in. And you can see I've already started making things, but I'm keeping the spare card in with the um, collection. So let me show you what I have made. The first thing is this little memory book. So this was the memory book I made using a different type of binding. And this one, all I had to do was finish off by putting some of the mats in. Um, the pocket so I've just done a very simple finish there um, this one because I've used the collection it is so much better all the colors already go you've got all these little decoupaged cutouts ready for you the one of the 12 by 12 books is these cutouts and pull aparts um, and so what I've done here is a very simple book with a pocket and then flaps on the other side. A pocket, these are included in the Knitwits collection and a flap on the other side. And so it's, I've just kept it very simple, but you can see how easy, it was so quick and easy because it, you don't need to worry about matching and what have you. Um, that one I just popped the little dog inside the pocket and then a little phrase under there. So that is the little Knitwits memory book I made. And there's so much stuff in that collection that I've hardly touched it. So these are the cards. I took a pack of Tonic 6x6 cards and I've made them. Again, all of them using the collection. This is the cut and emboss folder where you've got the little paw prints and then the centre cut out there. Um, these are all the dog ones and now we're on to all the cat ones. One of the 6x6, six six, the decoupage books, there's 48 pages and each page will will complete that full decoupage piece. And that's before you even start using the stamps and dies, which are what these are, the, similar to that. This frame, the borders are in the pack as well. All of the colours are just lovely. Some of my best friends are covered in fur. This is one that I don't know what to do with because I've done it the wrong way. Do I leave it and just say oops or do I cut it up and front it on another card? I'm not sure yet. And then finally, this one says you're the cat's pyjamas. And um, so there I have made, I mean, there's so much left in that collection to use. So I'm really, really pleased with these and looking forward to getting these sent out. So the other, um, the one thing that I got recently, this is the 
Tonic Studio Stamp Club. So I'm really looking forward to these. This is the Poppy Stamp and Die set. I love poppies. I love them. And um, so, yeah, every time I buy something now, I've got to use it to show you. And it's the same like sort of with the Knitwits collection. I bought it and I have to use it so that I can show you. So that is my intention, is that every week, not every week, because I'm not going to be buying that much. But um, when I get something in, I have to do a video. That's my new rule. So there we go. So I look forward to showing you what I can do with these. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the video and take care. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.